Honda manufacturing plants in Japan were forced to shut down amidst the earthquake and tsunami that killed thousands and impacted the country's economy. Now, will this get in the way of Honda's growth in the UAE? To answer that question is Mark Cass, Managing Director of Trading Enterprises, Honda. Mark, first of all, most of your products are yen-based. So do you see this catastrophe in Japan affecting uh, the UAE market? I think, Zena, we're, we're not quite sure at the moment. Um, about 82% of what we sell at the moment is from Japan. Um, the three core models, the pillar models, which is the CRV, the Civic and the Accord. Um, production has stopped um, across the Japanese plants last week, uh, including the motorcycle plant. But we're hopeful that uh, it will reopen at the end of this week. And really it is a problem with the suppliers rather than the factory in terms of components. Um, but all in all, um, the nice thing is we have good stock and we have good stock that is arriving. So in terms of being able to um, hold our own, we've probably got three or four months stock in hand, which is a good position to be in. You also have plans to move production elsewhere for some of your vehicles. Yes, we have, uh, Zena. What's happened is that uh, production of Accord, uh, which is the number one selling model for us um, over the past decade, uh, is moving to US production, full time actually for the UAE and for the rest of the GCC from March. And that will be followed by CRV um, in November. And Civic will move to Turkey in July 2012. So what that does is it actually stabilizes the currency for us. In 2009 and 2010, the biggest challenges in the automotive industry were mass product recalls and uh, almost zero liquidity in banks. Now this year, what do you think is the biggest roadblock in the industry? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge remains currency for us. I mean, we budgeted this year at 85 yen. We thought it was right. Um, clearly, we've seen that slip to 77. It means that automatically there's pressure on the price by around 10% in terms of transaction price. But what we've been very confident in doing is not passing that on to the customer. We've accepted as a company that responsibility because customers can't control credit. And what we also want to do is make sure that we have a consistent and a coherent pricing policy. So that has remained for this year. So number one is that, yes, of course, recalls. Um, we've been very fortunate at Honda. Uh, very few recalls over the past 18 months, unlike some of our other competing brands. Um, and reliability um, and also consistency of product remains a very key pillar for Honda themselves. So, yeah, very good in that respect. Mm -hmm.